Welcome to the solution portion of the 3D conduction tutorial. Before we begin anything else, you must realize that we had a placeholder variable for the water depth. We had a placeholder variable for the water depth. And so now we need to determine how thick it needs to be. In order to do that, we need a parameter to compare it against. Since we are concerned about the maximum temperature along the platinum bar, that seems a reasonable parameter to check against. So we will zoom in and go to the platinum bar and we will add a thermal temperature across the entire body. And we will mark the minimum and maximum of the platinum bar so that we have a, pl uh, a parameter to compare it against. Now let us also add in a regular temperature and some total heat flux and directional heat flux in the z direction out of interest. We then uh, switch out of the mechanical and we see that we have this parameter set option here. So we need to actually do something with the parameters and the design specifications. So click goal driven optimization and bring it over to the parameter set. We will open up the design of experiments. With the design of experiments selected, we will select, say, the custom and sampling, and put maybe 20 samples in. We will now take a look at the oh, changing the water depth. We need to have a minimum and a maximum. Let's say a lower of 10 micrometers and an upper of say 1500. We then need to enter in uh, which portions that we want. So let us go 10, 20, 50, etc. All right, now we preview the design of experiments and it'll fill in the last two design points evenly spaced members. And we have we check to see that we have the correct parameters to compare against. And then we will click update design of experiments. Updating the design of experiments is a computationally intensive project as it must use every it must make the calculation of the geometry for every single uh, design point that you've entered in. So don't be surprised if this takes a while. All right, we now have the results to the design of experiments. So let us put it into graphical format. So we return to the workbench and look at the response services. We need to update them to import the data. And we can look at the response plot. If uh, that look, this looks very uh, sparse in data points. So let's increase it up to the 20 and we can show the actual parameters that were used. We can see that it stabilizes around, say, uh, 500 micros, mon, mon, microns, but this is the temperature minimum. Let's take a, make sure to see that the temperature maximum follows the same curve. You can see it seems to stabilize at about more around, say, 800 microns. This is purely a judgment call. You're going to de determine how accurate your <clears throat> simulation is going to be. As you can see, it doesn't truly stabilize until far beyond this graph, but goodness of a fit would be, say, around here. So since we have taken a look at the two parameters, we now can input our, <clears throat> we can now input the correct depth into the water. So we need to go back to the geometry. And we need to change the parameter of the water depth to say 800. Update and generate. And we can go back to the solution portion as soon as we update the project.
now we can truly solve the issue. Uh, we can truly solve this problem.